Okay. Good afternoon to you all. As we discussed yesterday, how can we feel? How can we fill the table by adding Uh, algebraic expressions where today we are going to learn how to add the expressions like this. So, no, As you can see here, we have the question uh, x plus 3 and uh, x plus 2, where at the place of and we have to use the addition sign to add the given two expressions. As you know, there is a separation of the terms by the addition sign, that's why it, uh, these are considered as the term that's why here x plus 3 and x plus 2 we have the question you can see here x plus 3 f and x plus 2 we are at the place of and we have to replace by plus sign so you can see here the plus sign where we have written x plus 3 here you can see x plus 3 and at the place of and we have written here plus and then after we have the second expression that is x plus 2 which is written here. I think you can see it clearly. So that after doing this, we should arrange the like term. Here you can see, again, we have x and x in the both expressions which are the like terms. That's why after arranging x and x, we have x here and in front of x there you can see here plus sign so plus x that is here and then after we have to copy three there plus three that is because in front of three there you can see here plus sign that's why we have to copy plus three here and then after plus two after adding x and x that is x plus another x that is two x we have and 3 plus 2 that is 5. So the answer is 2x plus 5. So I think uh, you are understanding about this, how to add or how I think you can add uh, this type of algebraic expressions easily in this way or you can add uh, such type of algebraic expressions in this way easily. Uh, so let's talk about the other questions. And here we have the second question. 8a minus 5b and a minus 3b. So let's solve it or learn how to solve this type of question again. 
so look on the screen very carefully here we have the question 8a minus 5b and a minus 3b as well and again we have to put the addition sign at the place of and here and we have copied the expressions in the general way that we have done the same process as well in our previous question so here because of plus sign we don't need to give here bracket okay or if you will give bracket here that doesn't take any problem there but uh, why should we give more that's why there is no need to give bracket here and after giving here after giving the sign of plus here again we have to arrange the like terms so as you can see here the like terms are 5a and a so uh, sorry 8a and a so that you can see here 8a and in front of it there is given plus sign so that we have written here plus a as well here minus 5 you can see on the screen how is it come because in front of 5 there is minus sign that's why we have to write here minus 5b and again we have to copy minus 3b because in front of 3b there is minus sign that's why minus 3b at last here 8a and plus 1a that is 8a and another a that is 9a all together after reading them and then after as you know minus plus minus that is if we have the same sign integers then we have to write uh, the same sign here that is we have both sign uh, we have the sign where the both sign is given us in minus negative that's why we have to write the negative sign here and because of being the same sign we have to add them so that here we have to add them that is 5b and minus 3b so they are minus 5b and minus 3b that is minus 8b okay suppose here you have taken 5 rupees from someone okay that is what you don't have the money that is you this money is not belonging to you because you have borrowed okay that's why this money is uh, indicating us that is in minus sign in the same way again you borrowed 3 rupees from someone again to buy something that's what the both money indicating us the negative sign that's why 5 rupees and 3 rupees that you borrowed that means altogether you have borrowed 8 rupees that's why again we add them that is what 5b and 3b altogether we have 8b and in this way you can solve this type of question If there is problem, you can ask in the chat box. So let's talk about the third question. And the third question is given to you on the screen like this. And third question is here, you can see carefully. 8abc minus 5ab plus 3a and 3a plus 7ab minus 4abc after adding them as we have here here as we copied the question that is 8abc minus 5ab plus 3a and 2a plus 7ab minus 4abc where at the place of and again we have to write the addition sign because we have to add the given two expressions that's why the first expression is here you can see 8 a b c minus 5 a b plus 3 a which is added to 
टू ए प्लस सेवन ए बी माइनस फोर ए बी सी सो फ्रॉम दीज टू एक्सप्रेस एज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इंडिकेट द लाइक टर्म सो यू कैन सी हेयर द लाइक टर्म्स आर हेयर एट ए बी सी एंड फोर ए बी सी सो दैट हेयर एट ए बी सी एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ फोर ए बी सी देयर यू कैन सी माइनस साइन दैट्स वाई हेयर वी हैव रिटर्न माइनस फोर ए बी सी In the same way, minus five ab because in front of minus uh, in front of five ab there is minus. That's why we have to copy there minus five ab, which is similar to or uh, which is like to seven abc because seven ab sorry seven ab and seven ab and five ab are the like term. That's why we have to arrange them with each other. That's why here. In front of seven ab, there is a plus sign. So here, minus five ab plus seven ab. Okay, and then at last we have three ab. That is here in front of three. There is plus sign, so that we have given here plus three a, and again plus two a. That is in front of two a, there is plus sign. So here plus two a. Look here. That's what. If we subtract four from it, that we have four. That is four ABC. We have left. Then after among minus five AB and plus seven AB, the plus sign is greater than minus sign because minus is holding five and plus is holding seven. Where seven is greater than five, that's why we have to give here plus sign. And then after we have to subtract the lower number from the greater one, so that five is subtracting from seven. That we have two a. Listen it very carefully. So that then after we have plus three a and two a. That is all together five a. Or in this way we have got the answer. And I hope you will. do the addition of such type of expression in this way without any confusion i hope you are understanding uh, the solutions as well so uh, let's talk about the other question and we have the other question from the subtraction we are The question is x plus one from five x plus four. That means we have to subtract x plus one from five x plus four. So uh, let's solve it, and we have the solution here, are uh, given on your screen. That here we have the question x plus one from five x plus four. We are What the question is telling us that is we have to subtract x plus one from five x plus four. That's why we have to write five x plus four in at first, and then we have to give at the place of from we have to write minus sign here. You can see, and then after we have to write the first expression, which is given before from. So here you can see x plus one is given before from. So the expression or the number which is given before from that should be written after the sign, and the number which or expression which is given after from that should be written as first. So that here minus x plus one, and here you can see we have given the bracket. So that means we have. Written the expression inside the bracket because of the minus sign. Remind it. In subtraction, we have to give here bracket so that five x plus four. So you can see here five x plus four. You can see here, okay, and minus there in front of x there is no sign. You can see here in front of x there is no sign. So we have to let there be. Yeah, plus sign. That's what minus into plus. We have minus sign. You can see here and yaps. Again, 
In front of the one, there is plus sign. So again, we have to multiply with minus and plus. That's we get minus into plus. We have minus sign and one. So in this way, we can change the sign. So concept only one thing: what while subtracting, change all the signs. Okay, of the expressions which is written after the sign. So here we have the expression x plus one, which is written after the sign. So there is in front of here there is plus sign. So we have changed the plus sign into minus. Again we have here minus sorry plus sign. So again we have to change the plus sign into minus. So in a subtraction we have to change the sign. Okay. Minus into plus, plus into minus. So here, after doing this, we have to add in the like terms. So here, five x and x are like terms. So that here we have to add in five x, and in front of x there is minus sign. So minus x again we have plus four. So plus four because in front of four there is plus sign. So that we have given here plus sign. So plus four. And in front of one, there is minus, so that minus one. Or altogether, after subtracting one, uh, five x from five x, as we got four x. Similarly, among plus four and minus one, the greater sign is plus, so that here we have to write here plus sign and subtract one from four, that we have three. So our answer is four x plus three. Or in this way, we can solve this type of question as well. So I hope you understood the quiz, uh, solution. Similarly, let's talk about the other question, which is given to you on your screen. And the second question is here. Subtract 9mn minus 5p from 6mn minus p. This is the question, and again, it means what? We have to subtract 9mn minus 5 from 6mn minus p. So for this, let's solve it. So while solving the question, we have here, we have copied the question as well here. 9mn minus 5p from 6mn minus p. So you can see here, 6mn is given as first because 6mn is written af after from. And 9mn minus 5 is written after the sign because 9mn minus 5p is written given up before from. And there is minus, that's why we have to cover it in bracket. And after that, we have to change their sign. Okay. So those who is in for minus sign, we have to write the plus. And those who which is in plus sign, we have to write the minus. So that here you can see minus in front of the arm, 9 mn, there is no any sign. So there is my plus sign. So minus into plus, there is minus sign. So that means plus it changes into minus and again here minus it changes into plus okay so that after this all we have to add in the like term so here we have the like term 6 mn 9 mn so here you can see 6 mn minus 9 mn because in front of 9 mn there is minus sign so don't forget this thing. So minus nine. So six m n minus nine. And then after in front of p there is minus. So you have to write here minus p. And in front of high p there is plus. So that we have to write here plus p because p and phi p are like term. So that in this way, when 9 is subtracted from 6. Okay, 9 is 9 never subtract from 6. That's why we have to subtract 6 from 9. We have to subtract a smaller number from greater. So when 6 is subtracted from 9, we have 3. And 
the greater sign is 9 because in front of 6 there is no sign it means there is plus sign and in front of 9 there is minus sign so 9 is greater than 6 that's why the sign it would be also greater that's why we have to write here minus sign because of its greaterness and we have to subtract 6 from 9 that is we got 3 mn so minus 3 mn is the answer of in the same way here you can see minus p and plus 5p in among minus and plus plus has a greater sign because 5 is greater than 1 okay 5p is greater than 1p that's why we have to write the greater sign so here you can see the greater sign plus is given here okay and we subtract p from 5 as we got 4p all together so this is the answer minus 3 mn plus 4p okay so again in this way you can solve uh, this type of question okay as well uh, i will do some related questions or the difficulty questions so uh, which is uh, given to you on your uh, in your textbook for your easiness so that let's talk about uh, the other question related to the subtraction so here the third question is given to us here you can see a b c plus 2 a b minus 3 b c minus c f from 3 a b minus a b plus b c plus 2 c a so let's solve the question and you can see the solution on your screen here we copy the question here you can say a b c plus 2 a b minus 3 b c minus c f from 3 ab minus ab plus bc plus 2 ca that means what we have to subtract the first expression from the second expression so we have the second expression this one second and the first expression is this one okay sorry this one is the second and this one is the first so we have to write we have to subtract okay first expression from the second one so here you can see we have copied the Second expression that is 3ab minus ab plus bc plus 2ca minus we have to write here the first expression that is abc plus 2ab minus 3bc minus ca here from here okay and this is written given from here so in this way again we have given here minus and we have written the expression inside the bracket okay. to change their signs okay so here we have 3ab minus ab plus bc plus 2ca and in front of abc there is no any sign that's we have to let it plus sign and plus changes into minus sign minus abc plus changes into minus minus 2ab minus changes into plus that is plus 3bc And minus changes again into plus that is plus C A. And after this all, we have to add in the like term. So you can see here, three A B is like to A B. Similarly, similarly, you can see here minus two A B. These are the three like terms. So that here we have to write here three A B in front of A B. There is minus so that minus A B. Again here in front of two AB there is minus so we have to write here minus two AB. Okay. Then after we have to copy BC. So in front of BC there is minus uh, sorry plus sign so we have to write here plus BC and again we have to search the like term with BC. So the like terms of BC is given to us here plus three BC. so in front of 3 there is plus sign so that we have to write here plus bc plus 3 bc you can see here okay i hope you are understanding 
In the same way, we have CA. So in front of CA, there is plus sign. So we have to write here plus. So plus two CA. And CA is like two. You can see here CA. Two CA is like two CA. So again, we have here in front of CA, there is plus sign. So that we have to write here plus CA. So plus two CA and plus CA. Arrange that a place. And then after we have remaining minus in front of ABC, there is minus so that we have left minus ABC. So we have to write here minus ABC as last. And it hasn't any like term, that's why it is single. So that after subtracting, we have here minus three, uh, sorry, three AB and minus and minus. Both are in minus, both are in negative. So that we have to give here minus sign and we have to add the both terms. So minus, sorry, three AB and minus three AB. Okay, this one, the result of minus AB and minus two AB. And after here, plus BC and plus 3BC, as we have plus 4BC, similarly plus 2CA and plus CA that we have plus 3CA and minus ABC is COVID. And then after 3AB minus 3AB, that means what you have earned 3 rupees and you expend 3 rupees. That means now you have 0 rupees. Okay. So that, that is zero. So that would be canceled here. Okay, minus and plus cancel and we have the answer 4ABC plus 3CA minus ABC. Or in this way, you can solve this type of question. I hope you understood the question and I also hope that you can Show this type of question from your textbook as well. So in this way, for today, we have completed our selected topics of addition and subtractions. So thank you for today.